Good morning. I see that night hasn't treated you any better. We were... We were up looking for places to go in case things go bad. I, um, <clears throat> must have dozed off. Sorry. No, oh, you're fine. He needed the sleep, it's fine. How are you this morning, Master Dwarf? I could certainly be better. What was that ruckus that was happening last night? <clears throat> uh, oh god, um... Well, that thing showed up in the city, killed one of the guards. Then uh, they blamed it on Sif. And then they arrested Sif, and then they came and arrested me, and threatened to kill me, unless Sif admitted to uh, killing the guard. <clears throat> and uh, at the last possible moment, a bunch of Imperials showed up and bailed us out. Because Soma blew a whistle. A bunch of Imperials show up. The guard... Well, it certainly complicates things, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, God. And here I was thinking I'd get the opportunity to chat with your father about the talk I had with Kovas. <clears throat> to deal with the Imperials. He said that he blew a whistle and Imperials marched it in force. Right, into the clinic, because the clinic is technically, uh, Imperial Grounds. As far as I'm aware, this is all Gradian Grounds. This is Gradian land, it's Gradian's mm. borders. Not the clinic, though. Another reason for me to have to speak of the men, then. <clears throat> These Imperials have been acting far beyond their station, and I need to have an explanation as to why. Yeah, we had a powwow last night, everyone kind of gathered, and, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, we're still figuring it out. You said you talked to, uh, Kovaz recently? I was summoned to the castle the other day. <sighs> Unfortunately... After my talk, I was not in a particularly amenable mood, so talking with me was out of the question. I had to deal with their elven diplomat, you see. Ah. Uh. So. Barbed words and contained fury are all I can muster, even then. Even I have my limits. Is given somewhat of an ultimatum to respond to Kovaz's invitation by the end of the day. <clears throat> so I'll have to have a chat with yourself and your father at some point so you can understand just what it is that they're asking me to do. Right. On the bright side, Kovaz appears to want the Imperials <coughs> gone. Mm. So that's a bonus. The deficit is that he's in the pocket of the elves. I don't know if he's in the po We shouldn't be talking about this out in the open, but... Yeah. <sighs> Do 
You'll have to catch up with Tazim. <coughs> He's got some theories and such. Some point. Mm. Some point I will have to, and I also have to ensure that I respond to Kovas. Seems even he never received my missives, which is interesting to hear. Are you planning on seeing him? Have they been receiving the missives I've sent in? Are you planning on seeing him tonight? It's possible. Excuse me. It's definitely possible. I would have a little chat with my kin to see what their thoughts are on this. I want to have input from my kinsmen before I make any decisions. I would much prefer to be impartial to this, but from what I can see, that's slowly becoming impossible. Hmm. A date is owed to that young lordling. And that is a fact. At some point we're going to have to deal with that. As for a meme, he has some explaining to do. We probably shouldn't be talking about this out in the open. Yeah. <clears throat> like we said. Well, regardless, you mentioned that uh, you had a long night, so I'll leave you to it, the two of you. Mm. See if I can't find your. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. And you. <sighs> Sorry for falling asleep. Did we come to an agreement or not? There were places that we found, are places neither of us have been to. Yeah, which means going into the unknown. Or, um, asking your father first, I mean, your boss, and seeing <coughs> what he said. Yeah. But now we can point out a few options. Mm-hmm. That would be strange, because why would Soma have such a weapon? And, uh, you're fine, by the way. We both needed the sleep. I know I was asleep on you when... whenever you came up. We have some moves we need to make today. I am available after the sun's gone down. If that helps. But if you need me earlier, I, um... I just need to be back by the evening. Okay. Yeah, come inside and I'll talk to you about it. You said you need to be back in the evening. I have a transaction to make, and my buyer has a very small window when he's available. So it's best to be available uh, right as the sun goes down. I see. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> tonight, I'd like to 
get you and Miss Basil in the bathhouse to see if we can get any information out of Kovaz. If that's something you still want to do. That I can do. Mm. Okay. We'll put it as uh, her training you, or however we want. I'll go talk to her after this to get her on the same page. Remember, we're listening for what his response is going to be for uh, this new Imperial fuckery that's occurring. That's the main thing we're looking for, but anything else you can glean would be handy. Right. Um, <clears throat> I will try to remember everything I hear. At noon, I'm going back to Belerno. I'm going to see if I can follow that guy, learn a little more. Tazim wants me to figure out who he is, if possible. I'd like you to come, but I don't know how late I'd be staying out. I don't know if we'll be out there after sunset. Your safety is <clears throat> worth more than a couple silver, so I'll be there if you need me. Okay, hopefully we're not out too late. I would like you to be there. Um, noon is when that's happening, mm. so... Where should I meet you, if I'm not already with you? Uh... Tavern. All right. Um, and aside from that, I think that's all. Right then. Okay, well... I'm going to go walk around, see what I can hear about, um, need to check on Sith, and, yeah. um, when should we talk to your father about everything? Well, I want to report back to him after we figure out, uh, who this person is, or get a little bit more information, so, <clears throat> we could probably do it then, if he's around. Okay. I'll see you then. Yeah. Haven't you had any city of your oh, forge master? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh, actually, uh, come here, there's one more thing you should know.
as you begin to work the knife on the forge, along with the various tools you know you're going to have to pick up today to polish, sharpen, and work on, you reflect back on the briefing from last night, as well as your talks with Morden and Seraveth this morning. Your previous line of work was always about applying the right tool for the job. Sometimes people needed to be intimidated. Sometimes people needed to be bullied. And in others, well, just a little bit of violence. Everyone in this circumstance presents their own set of talents when it comes to fixing the problems that address Nautis. Some people are more like a hammer. Others like a dagger in the dark. It'll all come down to who uses what in this environment. They're starting to open it up again. You should do it by the bathhouse. <sighs> we might have to patrol there more. Make sure the slaves don't get out. Yeah, no, there was humans. Elves. Isn't the dwarf gonna be there? I think so. I believe so. I wonder what one of them was cost. <coughs> That's exactly my thought. But it is nice to see them opening it up again, huh? It's been kind of dry. Bring some money into well, the town, huh? Don't see it a lot. A lot of times people can't pay for it. Oh, this is true. Huh? That's why they haven't done it in a while, huh? Probably. It is kind of sad, oh. though. Yeah, well, what can we do, huh? Nah. Auction is an auction, no? You've got your pondering face on. I have an ultimatum to consider, the thoughts of my kin to consider, and need to speak with the Forge Master. All of which cannot be done without the Forge Master being present, because I need to start with that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. I also have to find methods to speak with others that I must speak with. I'll also considering <sighs> I have a lot to think about. If he is the head, I suppose. It would be easier if my brother was here. Yeah, when was he coming? Didn't you say he was on his way? That's what the missive said. I was by the name of Thorin. It's a very stubborn dog. Aren't most dogs stubborn? <laughs> it's uh, Thane Morden. Is he? Uh, is it? That'd be me. Missy for you from uh, the Baron of Mem. Over the Oh, this is new. He's checking the seal and the seal. The seal has not been broken. <sighs> it says, uh, Bane Stone Hammer, your presence is requested this evening by the Baron Amember Dodd to further discuss matters relevant to the introduction of, uh, present deal from the table regarding both the Sawtooth Shipping Company, the Active Mines, and other more pressing matters. We hope that you will attend and look forward to your counsel on these subjects. Thank you. Please inform your other party that I have received a missive, and in good time, I should say. Thank you, sir. A good day to you as well. <clears throat> well, no. That's interesting. Love letters? A letter from the one that I had sent a missive to the other day that I didn't respond, get a response from happens to be the person I want to speak today. Hmm. 
I've arranged a time to meet. The unfortunate part is that this is in the evening, which is interesting. Mm. Let's not match the time people that I have, but at the same time, I shall handle it. Hmm. I shall handle it. Looks like a busy day all round, honestly. Good morning, Sif. How's the, uh, everything? Not exactly great, but... I'm going to go and put this away in my study. I'll be back shortly. Morning, Torty. Hey. I was wondering if I could get, like, two more buckles. Hopefully for a similar price of last time, if possible. <sighs> 80 copper each. Yes, perfect. That would be really appreciated. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> uh, silver, 60. <laughs> I'll get working on it now. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah, whenever it's ready, just let me know. Uh-huh. Cool. All right. Awesome. I feel like there was something else I needed to talk to you about, but I have forgotten it. So, I'll probably bother you later. Sure. I look forward to it. All right. Cool. Awesome. Great. <sighs> How you doing, sir? Tired. Yeah, you uh, didn't quite sleep that off yet. <laughs> you can see. No, I didn't. Well, I hope it doesn't hurt as bad as it looks. Main hurt is in the arms and the chest. Or the arm in the chest. Uh. <clears throat> That's right, chat, isn't it? Well, I hope you feel better. Um, I'll see you around. Let me know if you need any leathers or ship stuff. Sure. Have you had any word from the elf veteran? Not today, no. Probably at a shop, right? I'll have to speak with him shortly. You were saying something, Sif. Did Vezrin, not Vezrin, uh, does he say anything about wood today? I know he said he'd take whatever I had. Uh... I communicated that with you. He hasn't let me check once my fucking face loads in. Fuck me then, I guess. Sure, how much can you bring in? <laughs> I can bring in 20. 20? That's all what I have today. Not very many people have been buying it, so... Probably don't need that much. Could you bring in, uh, seven? That would be a nice round number. Sure. How much would that be? Let's take it off the cost of the axe. Five as usual, 35 copper. Okay. I'll put that on my sheet. Should be able to order it today. I just need to find Saravith and get back a little bit of money. Ah, be 
Speaking of which, timing. <sighs> okay. I have to uh, run an errand, make sure no one steals anything, right? Sure. Holy fuck, that's so annoying. <laughs> What happened? I can't open my, my Steam VR menu in this map. I don't know what it is. It is literally just this map. <clears throat> it's been like that for like the last couple of episodes. That doesn't even cover the cost of the hide. One hide. Uh, I need at I'm least a silver. And then a little bit more. At least. I honestly don't know how you can put stone silver. inside of a bottle, but... Hmm. Uh, last I saw Soma, he was actually over there. Did you oh, see him in there, or...? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to your day. You have a good day. You too. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. We have a moment to uh, oh, this chat. This is new. Yes, I do have a moment to chat. I never get to see you this early. This is you're spoiling me rotten with how much I've been seeing you lately. Oh. Oh dear. I actually have people in the room you normally talk in. Uh, it doesn't need to be a long talk, just anywhere, brave it. Mm. We can always go in that special room that I took you and our other friend in, last night. Sure. Boys. 
Hope that your day is treating you well. It's been treating me as it could be. Um, <sighs> last night was a bit of a scary thing. Did you hear about it? A guard got attacked, and then suddenly a whistle was blown, and so many Imperials came rushing through. Yes, I heard about that. Hence the late night for me. I actually haven't slept yet, so... Mm. Oh no! You should definitely go and relax when you can, okay? Taking care of things <laughs> I need to take care of first. Mm, I see, I see. Well, let's get in here then. No one's in here. We can go right onto the back then. You first. I uh, won't take up too much of your time. Just uh, letting you know about things that may happen later on. Oh. It is uh, possible that uh, Baron Mem will be visiting the Barth House later tonight. My counterpart will be here, and I would like you to be uh, <coughs> teaching them a few things, if possible. If you hear a few... A man? I've never... I never thought that Kovas. he would be here. Wait, I know Kovas. Ko nope. I'm so tired. Oh. I'm sorry. Kovas. <laughs> You're okay. Apologies. I'm glad I was able to fix that for you. <laughs> You're starting to catch my mistakes. Hmm. <laughs> You're... I've been in the business a long time. You are disarming me a little. Hmm. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> M.M. Nope, Kovaz. Kovaz will be here. There you go. Possibly later tonight, possibly not. If he is, I would like you and my counterpart to be there, just lending an ear in case he has anything interesting to say. Hmm? Okay. Specifically, I think I can do that for you. I'm hesitant to get you to tease it out of him. I don't want to draw attention to it, but specifically we're looking for uh, what his response to this new Imperial thing is going to be. Surely he doesn't mm. like having this many Imperials around the city and last night's events would be weighing on mm -hmm. his mind. I'm curious as what his next move would be. So if you can find that out, that would be very helpful. I can definitely see what I can do. I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Basil. <laughs> Let's uh, see here. Aside from that, that is all. But is everything hmm? that's all you want from me? something you need? I mean, I'm here for information for you, you know? If you need anything like that besides me teaching our counterpart, I'm, I'm here for that too, but information, more time with you, fun, no? If you do well tonight, we can, uh, well, you'll be seeing a bit more of me, perhaps. Hmm. Mm. I'd like that very much. Hmm. You're giving me <laughs> those eyes again. Hmm. You seem fascinated by them. Curious. For a reason. Some of them are uh, self explanatory, others are a little. Uh... Mm hmm. 
interesting, no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> This one I don't really like. Some people are very heavy-handed with it. It's supposed to just scrape slowly across you. Similar to that of this one. I do hope no one is hurting you, Miss Basil. Oh. I happen to have a, uh, a friend who can treat me if I do get hurt. Hmm. Would that be the same person who was in the clinic last night? Maybe. <laughs> you wouldn't be withholding information from me, would you, Miss Basil? No, if you're really wanting to know, I can tell you. <laughs> I mean, after all, I've been spending so much time with this certain someone. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. The funny thing is about information is a lot of it I actually already know. A lot of it is uh, <clears throat> double checking. Making sure everyone's mm, keeping I honest, I suppose. Hmm. Well, if you must know then, I've been spending a lot of time with Soma. He's been taking care of me very well. Business or pleasure? A little bit of both. Tell me about this uh, Soma, then. Anything interesting I should know? Hmm. He's a very good person. A lot of people don't believe in him on some things. A lot of people second-guess him. But he's very true and honest to who he is. Actually, probably the most honest that uh, has ever shown this much interest in me about it just being because I work here. Mm. Honesty is dangerous in mm. these times. Probably it is. Putting himself in bad positions just to be a good person. I hope not. But... I worry for him, with everything going on with the whistle that he blew last night. I... I worry that maybe... Maybe he bit off more than he can chew. Hmm. You doubt his capabilities? Or the odds that stuck? No, I... The odds that are stacked more than anything. With so much going on in this town. So much... That gets pushed under the rug by Capitano, by... Even the Imperials, even by some of the people who live here. There's so much stacked against him and everyone that he cares about, and... That's what makes me more worried. Good hearts attract good hearts, I suppose. Hmm. <sighs> I suppose. I will uh, keep an eye open for him then. Make sure no uh, shadows in the dark will jump out at him, so to speak. I would very much appreciate that. There's a lot of things that lurk in the shadows. But not many people know and can protect them from. You referring to someone specific? I can't really. This is something I, uh, I probably some crazy talking about. <laughs> Remember what I talked about earlier, about already knowing things. Mm. There's, there's a woman that shows up at night. She's quite terrifying, and I worry for his sake. Yoribi. 
If you already attacked someone last night. The guard, if so. I recall. Is she hunting him? I think she's hunting this town. I don't know what she is, but one moment she's there, and the next she's gone. And her voice, it screams of a banshee. Hmm. I'm not sure how to fight something like that, but I'll give it a go. I would be very careful if you do. I don't know what... She is. But she is dangerous if she can cut through that much. I was able to see the guard on his, his way out. I knew Leo very closely. And she cut through chain. I don't see any chain on you, so I would be so cautious. You wouldn't be worrying about me, would you, Miss Bezor? I can worry about you, no? Of course you can, I just... It's interesting. It's uh, strange to see someone so confident and... To see you worried is... Worrying. It means that it's something to worry about, no? Exactly. I will heed your warning. I keep a lot of things hidden. I keep our talks hidden. Best that I can. And I try my best to give you as much information that I can. I will stay... What's the word? I guess for men it would be stoic. <laughs> mm. I understand. Do not put yourself in harm's way for me. Especially if I ask you to do something. I promise I won't do anything to careless. But my heart will break otherwise. I have to break if you get yourself hurt as well. But you know that too. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'll be on the lookout. I will do what I can to look after the uh, surgeon, Soma. Thank you. Of course. I really do appreciate that. If that will be your Miss Basil, unless you need me for something else. Mm. Maybe a kiss for the road. <laughs> Close your eyes. I know if you're peeking. <laughs> He has no mask there. You can open them now. Oh, you gave me something very special. Good morning, Miss Basil. <laughs> you enjoyed the rest of yours as well. And you. that they're handing out awards to somebody that one isn't a part of their nation and just works under them if that's the case where's my reward for delivering six barrels of ale within a day it's not a it's because i don't think that's a order of valor i'm, I'm 
joking. But don't put it off. I'm not expecting to get a reward for just doing my job. Congratulations, sir. Sir. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Looks like you received a promotion. Mr. Sanders, did you get promoted? I think Sanders found it very well, That was uh, interesting. I think he did. You think they yeah, needed to do that in front of everybody? Terrifying. I thought they had like a whole. Uh... <laughs> That's good. Uh, very good. Was not the only one to be that way. I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss something thing important? About the right. Morning, Mr. Orlai. Uh, yeah. Seems like one of the Imperials got promoted. Couldn't they have moved it maybe At a ceremony and everything. Oh! How wonderful. Have you Somer and the gunnery sergeant are uh, talking inside the clinic, by the looks of things. It's gone. Oh. Have you gone <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, I wonder what that's about. Place anymore. Hey. The the granary or the mill, whatever. Yes, why? I don't know. I was just figuring, like, if you need any help <laughs> dealing with that and setting everything up. You know, it's gonna be one of those weird things. Every Financial. time I see you, I'm gonna be surprised you're not dead now. But, um, do you by chance uh, make sanitizer? Citizens Award of Courage. The award given to non military imperial citizens and assets who exemplify the traits of courage in situations of <coughs> extreme conflict or danger. Telling me that he's never gonna come to me to save Donis again. The hunter, Raven, decided to come up to me and ask me where the boar that they're hunting is, claiming it was a simple hunt. I told him if it's a simple hunt, then simple hunters can do it. Oh, why? I'm being spirited away. Come back to life. Come back. Oh no. No, Kyla, not on the head. Gong. No. No, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You murdered him in broad daylight. Natural 20, you caved his fucking skull and he's dead. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. He's default <laughs> dancing on his corpse. Suddenly, suddenly the camera zooms in on the cat to your right. And then your bounty goes up in the corner of your screen. Oh no! It saw you! Ah! I gotta go! <laughs> hey, welcome back. Oh. Uh. I don't know if I'm back yet. I'm staring at the ground until whatever this is goes away. Can't even do two things right. Walk forward, damn it! Fucking hell! I bought you to be able to pick things up, put things away, help me set up my skull, and for what? The. Perhaps the auction has already uh, passed. I think so. Good day. Good day. Good day, lad. 
hoping I could get a knife sharpened. Yeah, sure. Every day that goes past makes me want to remove six inches from some of these uh, people's... Uh, 20 Top copper for sharpening. It would take like 5-10 minutes. Oh. Alas, it never sh shuts them up. Uh, I have 10 copper. I just bought a bow. If that's, um... Sure. Thank you. Sif, do you, uh, you mind? Need me to spin it again? Yeah. <clears throat> that should help. Yes, people are treating the slaves more harshly by the day. Did the slave auction already happen? No, I believe that's um, later today. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> can't be a belt grinder again, Kyler. We've already done this bit once. <laughs> Comedy comes in threes. <laughs> oh shit. How is it almost a silver for you? That fucking bitch. Ridiculous, absolutely bloody ridiculous. Almost a silver for them? That's cheap as shit. Yes, it is. <sighs> How's this? It's, um... Runs the finger across, not around. It's good. Thank you. Of course. I'm just going to continue looking this way because that way I can actually see you people. Yeah, there's a light source over there. That's what it's doing it. Mm. I just want to open my goddamn head. Let me test to see if it's. Sh this one. <laughs> Bruh. Sharpest test. <laughs> it will kill. It will kill. It will cut. It will stab. It will kill. Your blade is strong. What the fuck? It will kill. It will not kill. Fate. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? What? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? I think I've been near this for too long. My head's gone fucking. It's the fucking fumes. <clears throat> Stop looking at the lights. It's not the fucking lights. It's goddamn everything. I'm trying not to take there away everything. Convenient places. It's in the fucking lights. They're in the walls. It's in the goddamn lights. They're in the goddamn walls. You know, I use some I use some old dwarven uh some old dwarven know how and lowered my bloom all the way down and it still doesn't go. Mm. Yeah, there's some fuck some fucky shit happening. Well, that's me. I'll see you guys later. Well, guess I can't talk to Nolz in the morning. Your darn fairy tale books. That was that is okay. Right. They don't mix with reality. Ski ba 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 da bub.
I still have some of the some of the gauntlets. We often open. Need to I'm in need of your counsel at this time. Oh, oh now he's gone. She's vanished. Uh, yes. And you vanished. Ah, heal. Yep. Hi. She, if you're looking for uh, Laudia, she's just waiting at the uh, Merchant's Guild right now. So she may be like 40 minutes or something. No, please, for once. That butter serve it for another. Just a massage. Anything more than that will not be free, though. <laughs> but I can I work out some this. of the knots in those sore shoulders of yours. The hard-working man that takes care of everyone in town deserves to be taken care of every now and again. Well, I do fondly recall the last time one of your number did so, so perhaps I shall. <laughs> Was very kind oh, of you to just offer. come find me one of the evenings when things have winded down here. I even offer overnight, but that's a bit more copper. <laughs> of course, of I, course. I am Arita. I don't know if you've been introduced. Arita Barry, at your service. A pleasure, Arita. Mm. Looking for a Knife. He pulls out a knife that has just been recently sharpened. Okay. Clean? This one. And did you see it's clean? Is this the same one? Do you recognize it? Oh, let me. Oh, sorry. This is mine, yes. As you look at the knife, it does the look the same. <laughs> but it was sort of hard to tell from a distance. You should check him just in case. I don't believe he's been clear the fucking time machine. Such a weapon. When turn you have a call from you your. You, you have a call from him. Up there. I'm looking on the body to see if there's any obvious marks of cleaning the knife. Apologize, I'll clear it. Civilian, you have to clear out. Oh, of course, sir. Is there anything seen? Yes. The police have said about you. Yeah. It wasn't fast enough. Fuck happened there. If I didn't hesitate, it would have gotten her away from there and he wouldn't have had anything to blame but himself. I didn't catch what happened. Let the slave die. Today, I'm trying to get people together, a good number of people. The slave's master seems to have been attacked. We don't that have man is blaming the slave, but I believe it was the man, seeing as I just witnessed him get a knife sharpened. Hmm. 
but I can't save every single fucking slave that comes through here, so at least I tried. I just need to be fast next time. I almost got away. Just a few more se a few more moments and I would have heard her. Could have washed her face and will be fine. cut her hair short and sent her on her way. We will save him next time, I'm sure. Even if she did do it. Each time you get faster. Take heart. Hope the information I gave will help enough. Are you okay? Well. I mean, she looked young. Looked like an elf. I've seen enough of them die. It's become a numb pain. But still pain, I don't know. At least it's not one of you. Mm. I told Torty to keep me updated when I get back. <sighs> You're able to let the gods know that we're leaving the town. My menu does not do open up. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me a moment. Oh god, not the queso. Move. The <laughs> queso. <laughs> yum yum. They have been informed. Incept. <laughs> Good idea, I'm gonna get a drink too. <clears throat> drink, drink, drink. This fucking menu thing is doing my head in. Down and it goes, but it looks straight down and it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Stupid ass. I heard, mm -mm, fucking bitch. Fuck? And that's all I heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lagged. Watch out, cause she'll chew you oh out! <laughs> oh my god, I nearly choked on my spit. <laughs> Whoa, here she oh. comes. She's a man eater. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, you, you broke me. <laughs> you fucking broke me. <laughs> Where's my fucking oh my mouse? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'll be back. I gotta go cat call so to so. <laughs> oh fuck! I don't know why that got me. All right, let's just go. I can't fuck with my music. <laughs> Raggy. <laughs> now my fucking eyebrows itch. I uh, <clears throat> tied my hair up like you talked about. And I like fed it through the triangle and? at the back. It 
feels weird, but it's better. Uh -huh. No more sweaty neck. Sweaty neck. That's what they called me in prison. Hot boxing in there. Oh my god, but some of it's come undone. <laughs> it's like in my fucking heads. <laughs> I'm going bald, I'm doing a Britney Spears. Fuck it. Oh no. I mean, if you did it, I would do it. Oh too. my fucking god. Just end me. Well, stop thinking about it. No, and it'll it go was away. in my Trust eyeball. Me. Or do hard drugs. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> oh my god. His eyebrow hairs are bothering him. And it's probably his bangs too. He took his headset off and now he's coming back to me and you. I love this song. <laughs> Do you feel better? <laughs> this is so scuffed. It's just fucking you. <sighs> I'm having a jolly good time, my friend. I don't know about you. I want to kill myself. Have you overstimulated yet? <clears throat> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah. Bleh. <laughs> it's almost Halloween. Don't come to my house or I'll suck your dick. Uh, blood, blood. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> He's gonna come back and you're gonna be saying some stupid shit. I'm always saying stupid shit. No, sometimes <coughs> you hear you. I'm super serious. It's <sighs> fucking hot. Fucking cold. Oh yeah, no, they told us it was freezing. Kong. <laughs> it's chilly. I'm going in the ocean. I'm going to scream. <laughs> Why are you screaming? I'm going to screaming. <laughs> screaming. Screaming and screaming. Oh, oh. Stinky. I want to turn my music down because it's do 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 and I can't hear anything and I can't turn it down because I can't open my menu. No, it's okay, Ninja Kai. You can take a second and walk over here and change it if we need to. I've been doing that all fucking day. Oh no, the water is here! Oh my god! Mmm, I love swimming. <laughs> when they said coastal, this is what I meant. So the uh God, it's so fucking loud. Uh <clears throat> <laughs> The point of this is to try and figure out where this person goes and ideally who they are. I don't think we want to make contact, but if we have no choice, I have an idea. You just tell me what to do and I will follow your lead. But I wish I could hear myself. <coughs>
You've seen the cannons on the wall. Um, yeah. It's a pretty cookie. Probably just for show, hopefully. I'm sure they work. Let's hope they don't get used then. Hmm. The road was right up here. No, no, it's up at the Cross Keys Inn, remember? The road, the little tiny road. No. They, they, they told us very specifically. No. see him, we have to beat him up. I'm going to fucking punch the shit out of him. Hell yeah. Tracking. Do you know who played him? I'm gonna give him a fucking... Yeah, Coco. I'm going to fucking punch him so hard. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna give him a Charlie horse in his leg. The fuck is a Charlie horse? You want to find out? No. All right, then. I can't do it, I'm changing my music. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. It ended and then restarted and it's still fucking loud. Doodle. Doodle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look straight down so the pain goes in. Oh! 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 What year is it? Okay, I'm back. Sarah? Imperials? Mushrooms? Come on, let's go back to the tavern with Nicholas and Kat. Oh, that would be a fucking dream. Everything was a dream. It was all a dream. Everything. Sweet dreams or a beautiful nightmare. Alright, I don't know how we're going to follow him through here. There's not much cover. If he's low, we'll stay high. What if he's high? I guess we wait until he's not high anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's focus up. As you peer over the rather dilapidated town, you see 
A few people walking around the fish markets, trading, a few others simply lounging around in the afternoon sun. But what you don't see in the same location, that balcony, is any sign of that man in black. If he's here, he's not outside. <coughs> Some of the locals have seen him come and go. Do I hear anything inside? You creak to the door. You don't hear anything. No footsteps. Actually, let me roll real quick. Is it ten? Uh, no, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like the door is not terribly secure. In fact, uh, as you, like, jiggle the uh, doorknob a little bit, it seems like the hinges themselves are barely on. <clears throat> He's going to look through the... Gap or keyhole and see if there's anyone on the other side. Into the keyhole. It looks like uh, the building is, you know, decently large. Not terribly well furnished. There are some rugs and, and tapestries on the wall as such to keep the uh, insulation in the warm air in. But you don't see anyone. And in fact, you can look up to the balcony uh, from the second story, to, to where the second story would lead inside, and you don't see anyone there either. It doesn't look like he's in this building. <clears throat> he's going to run his hand along the inside, and especially down here to see if there's any strings or traps or anything. So ring along, uh, the only thing you do seem to find is a small latch up by the midsection of the door that seems to be currently holding it closed. It looks like if you really wanted to, you could undo it. All right. Now, Kyla, journey with me into the wonderful realm of theater of the mind, because these buildings don't have interior cells. <coughs> what you find inside is a fairly poorly furnished... what looks to be some kind of... standard home. It's a little larger than some of the other ones you see here, so in order to afford renting this place for any amount of time, whoever did it must have had some coin to their name. It seems like the balcony in particular it provides a nice view of the surrounding area, um, though it is not at the highest point, which you would assume to be the most strategic if someone were to stake out a place. But it is very <clears> central. <throat> you think this building is probably right in the middle of town. So again, whoever chose this location probably knew what they were doing. Looking through for any kind of identifiable signs of life, the only thing... Actually, no, the bed, curiously, is actually quite made quite well, as though perhaps the person who left this place didn't intend to return for some time. He's looking around for any <clears throat> bits of paper or fucking clues that might give away the identity of this person or where they might be going or anything like that. He knows it's a bit of a long shot, but... Well then? Hmm... With a 16, you do find what looks to be uh, some leftover scraps of paper. 
Looks like some small personal notes, essentially uh, like a post-it. Uh, looking through, it just seems to be uh, a list of locations and then crosses through them. Um, you see the cross keys in, it is crossed out. You see Balerno, it is crossed out. You see Cassetto, it is crossed out. You see Nodis, it is circled. And it looks like a question mark is drawn around it, as though they're not certain of whether something's in Nodis or not. He's uh, keeping the paper. <clears throat> and uh, he's going to leave if that's all he can see. Okay, you were able to leave, and it doesn't seem like anyone noticed you breaking and entering. Can I put the latch back from this side, or no? <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, yeah, with a natural 20, you do perfectly well. Yeah, are you all good? Sorry, I thought you were behind me. <coughs> no. I thought I saw you gesture. Look at this, uh, paper. Looks like he's crossed out many of the places, but not noticed. Does that mean he could be heading there? Or he's already there and we didn't see him. <clears throat> Fuck. Let's, uh... Let's try the cross keys real quick. Just in case he's popped there for a drink or something before he leaves. And we'll head back to notice. I don't know what else to do other than that. Right. Keep an eye out <clears throat> for him and not to sit at circle. Yeah. Though I bet he's going to uh, stay away from the places he's crossed out. <clears throat> for That's whatever reason. Well, he he's, said he's looking for someone, right? He's looking for Arn. Maybe we should just head back to notice. What if he's there? I suppose so. You could always check me in tomorrow and ask. I looked inside the building and the bed that was there was made pretty well. It's almost like he doesn't intend to return here. I'm worried we're on a time schedule. Hmm. Well, he hasn't been noticed yet. <laughs> 